What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a super interesting, useful video for you if you're trying to move a program from one location to another and you don't feel like reinstalling it or setting up all these shortcuts again, who knows, maybe it has to be located in a certain directory and you just want to move it somewhere else. How exactly do you get to doing this? Well, the simplest way to move a program from one folder to another disk or something like that and have it appear in both places and be fully functional in both places is by using something called a symlink. Now in my previous video, which will be linked down in the description below, I showed you how to right click on folders and get a pick link source button, which after clicking, you can go drop as and choose a symlink type. Basically, I'd recommend you go and watch that video unless you're familiar with the mklink command inside of command prompts. But today I'm going to be showing you the pick link source and the drop as. So again, check the description down below for a video on how to install that. And once you have it installed, come back here. So hypothetically, we want to move a program from one disk to another to make some space on our SSD or something of the sorts. How exactly do we get to doing that? Well, if I were to right click on something like DaVinci Resolve, open up the folder, you can see that it's installed on my C drive over here. How exactly would we move it from one directory to another to another disk, something like that? Well, the obvious way would be to cut this folder over here, put it on another disk and point all the shortcuts to these files again. Now, of course, imagine that it has to be in this folder and they can't be anywhere else. How exactly do we go about doing this? Well, the simplest way to demonstrate it for me is to keep it on one disk so that I don't have to wait for the copy times. However, renaming the folder ever so slightly will break all of the shortcuts and basically simulate me moving it from one disk to another. If I try and double click on the DaVinci Resolve icon, you can see that resolve.exe was not located. So assuming that we've moved it from one disk to another, of course, because my folder is already in here, I'll have to move it a bit further. So I'll put it inside of a subfolder. So basically I've moved it to another folder. I'll right click on the folder and select pick link source. I'll go back a folder, right click, drop as, and I'll create a symbolic link. When prompted for administrator, hit yes, and you should see the folder reappear here. Opening it up will take us into the subfolder, which is actually located in here. So if I were to rename the shortcut to actually match what it needs to be and open up resolve, you can see that it works perfectly normally. So basically I've moved it from one disk to another, created a sim link so that it appears on both disks. However, it's only physically located on one of the two. It'll work properly. So I'll go ahead and close it just because I'm not going to be editing right now. And that's about it. That is the easiest way to move programs from one disk to another when you can't uninstall them and reinstall them or you just don't want to. Now, of course, it's not exactly recommended if you go ahead and do a Windows update. It is possible that the sim links might break, so you may need to recreate them once Windows finishes updating. However, that's usually only with really big updates and the sim links should work between updates anyways. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.